Damn it! What's the problem now? Oh, never mind. I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something! Acceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Oh, a nap. Okay, Warren, bye. Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. <laughs> He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all You can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. Yeah, they got a lot of cameras in here. Holy shit, man. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. It was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad, that he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes, here at Abstergo, helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder... If they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. Damn, bro. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy. Uh. They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again. And he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nutjobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. Whoa. I mean, did he really save your life? I mean, he's the one. Those were his guys, I'm sure. Aren't you tired? Oh, wow. Okay. That's nuts. It's a little bit crazy. What the hell? Someone's been in here. Oh. Looks like some kind of access code. Oh? Wait, what? Ho ho! Hey, she fixed it. Something. 
Ooh, the pen. Oh, shit. I got free reign of the place, but there's cameras everywhere. Damn. Access denied. Still need that. Okay. Can I read the emails now? Is there maybe new ones? Welcome, Lucy. Haha. -ha. Ooh, there are new ones. Let's see. Warren, find your access key pen again today out by the parking lot. You really need to start keeping it in your pocket instead of letting it hang off your coat. Try and take better care of your things, Warren. Imagine if security had found it. They'd have shut us down for at least a day to reprogram all the computer access codes. Great, leave it at my desk. Worry less about my things and more about making animus work. Thanks. Wow, what a dick. As a general reminder, all employees of Stereo Industries are prohibited from discussing corporate policy proceedings and projects. In light of pending litigation, you are all reminded of Sections 2.15 in your employment contracts. You acknowledge and agree that Abstergo has developed such confidential information by the investment of significant time, effort, and expense, and that such confidential information provides Abstergo with a significant competitive advantage in its business. You acknowledge and agree that a breach of this agreement by you will therefore result in irreparable harm to Abstergo, the extent of which would be difficult to ascertain, and in any event, money damages will be inadequate as a remedy in the event of such a breach. Accordingly, you agree that in the event of a breach of this agreement by you, Abstergo shall be entitled to injunctive or other equitable relief as the court deems appropriate, in addition to any other rem remedies which may have, of which it may have available. Should you have questions, please do not hesitate to contact your human resources manager. We thank you in advance for your compliance. <clears throat> Let's see. You said, wind up like Layla earlier. What did you mean, Lucy? Nothing. Get back to work, please. We have a deadline. P.S. Why do you sign your emails? It says right up top who it's coming from. Damn, bro. He's such a dick. Dear Nancy, I'm writing to you acquire... Inquire about the death of a former employee by the name of Layla Marino. I don't know if you were working here... At the time, September of 2007, there was apparently some kind of accident, but I'm not able to find any information on the subject. The coroner's office indicated that her file had been sealed. If it was a suicide, why is this information considered so sensitive? Sincerely, Lucy Stillman. I am so Mrs. Stillman, I am sorry, but I am not authorized to discuss this employee or the circumstances regarding her departure from the company. Whoa. Mrs. Stillman, unfortunately, wait, let's see... Nancy, I don't understand why this information is so difficult to access. I've never heard of a company having the ability to declare a coroner's report proprietary information. That's ridiculous. She was my friend. I want to know what happened to her. Unfortunately, I'm unable to respond further to your inquiry. I have CC'd Alan Ricken on this email. Please direct all further questions to him. Thank you. She killed herself. Something about a relationship with a kid named Newman. Don't dip your pen in the company ink. Now drop it. Whoa. Tense. Now, can I go in here? No? Damn. That sucks. I guess that was just for this area. Just to get out of my little prison. And there's no keypad here. Alright, I guess that's it then. But I can escape now. That's to sleep. It's probably also to sleep. Anything else in here? Okay, let's go. Let's change it up a bit. Sleep on this side this time. Those symbols, man. Following morning. Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with oh, your I'm treasure hunt. hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? 
That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? Huh. What makes you guys so special, so smart? That you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. Hmm. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. He's telling me a lot. Talking about the pieces of Eden already, man? He's like, well, okay. I mean, is he like... Trying to vet me? Morning, like, thinking that, like, yeah. I'm gonna become an assassin? Right. I'm gonna become your assassin. Don't worry about that. Nah, man, that's not what happens. It's never how it goes down, man. I'm not, I'm not an evil asshole. Oh, shit! Alright. Alright, thief. Cool, cool. I can get into his computer next time. This is great. Can I talk to you? Alright, heading on inside. Let's go. I need you to lie down, Desmond. Fucking slide a hand over here, man. Let's upgrade this time. Come in, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salahadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both, then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It will be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Dukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat, liege lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed, arrogance, the slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. All right. And Altair, take say. care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. Of course. Of course. Ooh. I'm on my second row of health. Like it. Catch ledge and grab break. Finally, man. God. The hell he disappeared. Where does he go? Mm. Ooh, wasn't this always close? That was a beautiful courtyard, man. Oh, crap. M. Hey, the birds singing and stuff, man. It's beautiful. Oh damn. Well, hello there.
Okay, enough exploring. Let us go move on with the mission. Hey, look at that. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. I understand. Okay. Enough of that. <laughs> you must be busy. I understand. You must be busy. Always busy, man. Alright, we've been here before. We know the deal. Save them. You will find that we are the true children of God. Help! I need help! Please, anyone! Infidel, die! Infidel, die! You bitch. Bitch. Thank you, my boy. I only wish my sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. True hero. <clears throat> okay. Need five more and I get another health bar. Woo! Altair, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Nakud. What can you tell me about him? Oh, the merchant king of Damas. Richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the <laughs> terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, aside from those things, I envy you very much. I do not care what the others think or say. I'm here to do okay. a job. So I ask again, what can you tell me about the Merchant King? Only that he must be a very bad man if Al Mualim has sent you to see him. He keeps to his own kind, wrapped in the finery of this city's noble district. A busy man, always up to something. Mm. I'm sure if you spend some time amongst his type, you'll learn all you need to know about him. And where would you have me begin my search? If I were you, I'd start with the Omayyad Mosque and Sukh Saruja, 
both of which are west of here. Further to the northwest is Salahadin Citadel. It's a popular meeting spot and has proved a reliable source of loose tongues in the past. Yes, these three places should serve your needs. My thanks for your guidance, Rafiq. I'll return when I've gathered the necessary information. Alright. Next target acquired.